Welcome back, everyone. Hip pain and arthritis can affect people of all ages, but the chronic condition mostly affects seniors. Well, here to talk about a new minimally invasive procedure to treat arthritic hip pain and reduce the chances of a hip replacement will be needed in the future is Des Moines orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Stephen Avila. So thank you so much for coming in today. Well, thank Brought you for little, having me. little show and tell. First oh, of absolutely. all, tell us about this. You call it uh, groundbreaking. Uh, yes, this is something called hip preservation surgery. Mm -hmm. And as the name implies, what we're trying to do is prevent prevent hip arthritis. Mm -hmm. uh, researchers have discovered a process called hip impingement. And what that is, is that the hip can actually develop bone spurs within uh, the hip joint itself. And when these bone spurs come into contact with the soft tissues that surround the hip joint, particularly a structure called the labrum, uh, the labrum can tear, it can get damaged, and eventually this can lead down the slippery slope of arthritis. Mm -hmm. Now these same researchers have understood that if you go in there through arthroscopic procedures, meaning little poke holes go in there with small instruments, you can shave away these bone spurs, repair the soft tissue, and in fact prevent the arthritis from ever occurring. Okay. So I, I think this is one of the most profound discoveries uh, in the field of orthopedics in the last 20 years. Now, uh, it, what can this be prevented in the first place? Um, as far, or is this genetic as far as the bone spurs? A lot of these bone spurs are genetic. Mm -hmm. Some of them are acquired, you can get them through injuries, but the vast majority of them are genetic and you have them whether you want them or not. Okay, now what are you holding here. This is, uh, uh, this is a model actually. Ironically, this model actually comes with a very small little bump over here. And you can see that when you bring the hip up and rotate it just a touch, the bones it can't go any further. Mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. bones come into contact with each other. Now that soft tissue liner is going to be right over here. Okay. And it's going to tear. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's not terribly difficult. You don't have to flex up very high in order to achieve this bone pinching phenomena and this soft tissue structure tearing. How um, young have you done this on, on patients? I've done this as young as 13 years of age. So wow. th this affects okay. all walks of life. What, yeah, what are symptoms? Uh, symptoms typically in the front of the hip you get pain. Mm -hmm. It can be associated with hip motion. And can you imagine it's uh, associated with hip flexion. So when you're seated for long periods of time, that can cause pain too. Are there any um, n you know, negative side effects, I guess, to this or negative effects? Well, again, if you just keep on pinching mm -hmm. and pinching, mm -hmm. you are going to develop arthritis, at least a majority of people are. What do you recommend people or viewers out there that are concerned? What should they do? Oh, absolutely. If you have hip pain, particularly if it's associated with motion, that pain in the front of the hip, you should seek an opinion from a hip specialist to see if you have this problem, prevent it from getting to the point of arthritis. Okay, doctor, thank you very much. That's, as you say, groundbreaking. And for more information, you can go to iowaortho.com. Thank you so much for coming in today. Okay. We'll thank be you. back with stocks right after this.